morning to you, Felix, me boy. Well, well, King Barney of the Leprechauns. How are you? Fine, me lad. Felix, once you asked me where his leprechauns got our gold from, well, I've decided to show you where and how. Gee, and this is a great secret. But we must keep this a secret away from those crooks, the professor and rock bottom. Secret. <laughs> secret. With the house wired for sound. Ho, ho, ho. This is it, Rock. The secret will be ours. We never give up, huh, boss? Here, Felix. Take this gold coin. Now hide it while me back is turned, and I'll show you how we find the gold. Okay, ready. Our magic harp is happy when it's played. And when it's near gold, it whistles and points. Watch its point. The harp says gold coin is under your feet. You're right. <laughs> so, the harp can find gold. Follow me, and we'll look for the gold vein. Gold vein? I'm with you. And we'll be ahead of you, chump. Rock, let's get that harp. King Barney, where are you? Here, Felix, by the foot of the cliff. Coming. I'm ready. Keep your eyes on the harp's figurehead. And watch its pipes. There, Felix, pull up the shamrock. Wow! A real genuine gold nugget. That's nothing. Wait until he hits the jackpot. <laughs> that harp is sharp. It plays with a wealth of feeling. See? The harp found it. How long is a gold vein? We'll see. Watch them, Rock. Mind me, Harp, while I take the gold to the storeroom. <laughs> get that Harp, Rock. With my lasso, Boomerang, I'll get them both. Going, going. Got them. Boomerang's always retoin, and here it comes. Got him. Ho, 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 ho. So, we meet again. Rock Bottom, pass me the leprechaun's magic harp. Don't you dare. I'm minding it for them. The professor only wants to see if it will find gold for him the way it does for the leprechauns. Now I'll find gold and become very wealthy. You'll get plenty. Plenty of trouble. You talk too much. Take a ride with me, Boomerang. I'll make you pay. But when I'm free... Yes, when? <laughs> Watch its pipe, Rock. Pull up the shamrock. Wow, this is a good start. Come, come, Rock. The harp is hot. Pick it up, Rock. Felix, where are you? What are you doing there, lad? The crooks put me here and stole your harp. Hold on, Felix. Oh, get him, boys. Hey, careful. I'm on this end. Phew. Now tell me about the crooks. Boss, 
Let's get some big stuff. How about a big gold vein? I, I've got that. Felix, if your plan works, we'll get rid of the crooks for good. And get back your gold-finding harp. <laughs> We'll be ready as soon as the rope is treated with our special glue. It sure looks like gold. It does that. But you'd need an elephant to pull you off if you got stuck on it. Now a real gold nugget to lure the harp. <coughs> Sending you on a vacation to the South Pole. Okay, haul away. to invent a new rocket fuel. Did it work? No, Uncle. I guess there's no fuel like an old fuel. <laughs> oh, brother! A funny man! Point Dexter, this is Felix, your sitter for tonight. Hiya, Point Dexter! <laughs> It's my new force field shield. The push button model. And now you two have a nice time. And you, Felix, kick Poindexter out of the laboratory. Where are you going, Uncle? Uh, to the wrestling room. I mean, to the opera. <laughs> I can't go to sleep without my bedtime story. Okay, I'll read you some. Advanced thermodynamics. Uh oh, Mother Goose. This is more like it. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your spectrum glow? With sodium glare in the ionosphere and satellites all in a row. How can they do this to kids? Poindexter! Uh-oh, he's in the laboratory. Poindexter, what are you doing in the laboratory? But, Mr. Felix, I only wanted to play with my little chemistry set. What have you got there? I mixed a little drink for you. You did? How nice. Mmm, smells good. Getting smaller and smaller 
and smaller. I'm sorry you drank that shrinking solution, Mr. Felix. Look how small you are. Yeah, this is enough to give a guy an inferiority complex. Well, uh, let's look around. Hey, uh, who are you? We are the Blob Sisters. Snug as a bug sister. We flit around sliding and gliding. Our bodies are simple, but cute as a dimple. We multiply by dividing. <laughs> solution should build him up in a hurry. Now listen, young man. Look out, Mr. Felix. and fight like a blob. Now what's he up to? Oh no, not the fast grow. I, I can't look. I've 
got an idea.
I'm getting close to the moon. Now to find the crater that swallowed Point Dexter and Felix. Now look at the fix we're in. Caught by a monster claw. Yipes! Ah, there's the crater. Now to rescue Point Dexter and Earth Felix. The name. Who am I? I'm the Master Cylinder, King of the Moon, and I hate intruders. Then let us go back home. Home? Let me think. See that little button on my chest? Yeah, sure. When I say the word, push it with your nose. I'll send you home in little pieces. <laughs> now. <laughs> wow, out like a light. How did we do it, Poinsy? My little force ray generator paralyzed his antenna. Gee. Let's go before my battery runs down and that monster comes back to life. To the saucer! <laughs> Mr. Felix, the battery has gone flat. What is the meaning of this? Huh? Why, it's the professor! Professor, look out! Too late, Mr. Felix. Professor, my favorite instructor at the Space Academy. The voice sounds familiar, but I can't place the claw. I'm Master Cylinder, your most promising pupil. Now I remember you. You flunked chemistry. Always blew yourself up. That's how I lost my body. But nothing could destroy my magnificent brain. Put me down and release my nephew immediately. And, oh yes, Felix. Your nephew can go, but Felix stays. That's fair enough. But, Uncle, you can't do that to Mr. Felix. You keep out of this. Felix is unimportant. Yeah, besides, I can use him in my experiments. <laughs> what happened, Cylinder? Oh, well, flunked again. Come, Point Dexter, and, uh, uh, Felix. You come along, too. Oh, thanks! <laughs> You're